My name is Jimmy, his name is Jake, and this is the Weekly Dumb. Joined by Grand Papi. He's dead. Jake, how are you? He's always watching over James. I am well. Nice little weekend. I think we both had a little bit of an escape. I went up, played a couple drinking games in the mountains with some old friends. You and your sweet baby. We'll blink that out. Um... Did some fun stuff together. Guys weekend. Guys weekend. Yes. I sleep trained him. Ha ha. Cried out. Bitch. Pussy. <laughs> Zach's going to bleep that out. I'll bleep that out. And then I built a, oh, whatever. I watched my son for four days while my wife was at a bachelorette party and I had a grand old time. He's pretty cool. Pretty cool guy. Did you win any of the drinking games? I played beer die. That's the one the kids are playing now. I, it's kind of fun. I get why they play it. <laughs> Dice and you're snagging. Reactions. Do you feel older? Whoa. Did you feel older? Whoa. Did you feel like, damn, I'm, my reactions are worse than when I was a kid? Is that a joke? My reactions are better than they've ever been. Oh. You know this. Have that be uh, nope. gack all over his face. <laughs> got gacked. I got gacked. <laughs> you got gacked? From Zach's reaction, it seems yeah, like Yeah, it sounds like you just got gacked. Tell me about the sports. We had a big story in the baseball. <laughs> Jim, huge news coming out of the baseball world. The San Diego Padres. They just made a huge splash at the deadline with Soto and Drury and Bell and Hayter. And this team has been building up Slam Diego, all of it. Fernando Tatis Jr., 80-game PED suspension, Jim. Suspended. I, this is a huge one because this is a guy that the uh, MLB wanted to be the face of baseball. He was like their biggest marketing campaign, getting the youth involved, was all around him. He had ringworm. He said, I just had ringworm and I used the medicine. And his mom posted a picture of his ringworm. And then all the doctors said, that's a different medicine. Yeah. I'll say in doctor speak. He got tested for colostabol, col col and the medicine he used for ringworm is like colostostabol. Different. He didn't realize that. I'm going to take the angle of not good for baseball. Not good you for know, baseball. You know, a lot of people are, you know, there's no such thing as bad PR. I would put this one in the column. Don't love this. Don't love this for the young, fun San Diego Padres. It is bad. Uh, and all the Padres quotes, they seem to have uh, been irked by some of the stuff he's been doing for a while now, and they just chose to dump on him Yeah, about being not mature and not this and not that. So, yeah, tough for Fernando. When you're 22 and you get anointed king of the world. When you were 22, you were anointed king mm. of yeah. the parking lot. That's nothing. <laughs> Picture of Jake sleeping in the parking lot. James, I know the sports was good, but this almost a breakdown you've been talking about. This is this is the one that makes me. It is still the sports. Rodolfo Castro's phone fell out of his pocket in the middle of the game. Like that. And then the umpire's like, uh, your phone, your phone. He put it in his back left pocket in between innings because he was playing the field. So then he must have checked his phone in the middle of the game, put it in his pocket. He put his, whatever that is, his padding in his back pocket over his phone. So he just had a big old stuffed pocket, forgot his phone was in there when he gets the first base because he got walked, hands that padding to his first base coach because then it's not there. The phone falls out. His manager said, this was just a kid who made a mistake. It's just one of those things we move forward from and tell him, you can't do that. Yeah, it's one of those things, A, life lesson. aesthetically pleasing. The way the phone slides out of his pocket, that's something you rewatch and rewatch. So that actually helps the story here. The other thing is it's funny they had to take this seriously because they were like, oh, well, cheating in baseball. He's got his phone in his pocket. And it's like, ah! most likely that this 23-year-old kid on Pittsburgh just forgot he had his phone in his pocket and came sliding out. So, they probably did, yeah, not cheating, but it's still odd Rodolfo to Rodolfo Castro, name, three Two, one, seven point one. So I was a little higher. You're a little higher than me. Hello. Jake, let's go back to the more sports. I bet you got a good story for us. If you'd bet that, you'd bet it at DraftKings, dude. They're the kings of DraftKings. Tell us a story. A story? The story. Former Patriot Rich Ornberger. Rate that name. Three, two, one. one. point two. Yeah, it sounds like an owl. <laughs> Rich Ornberger to avoid being cut by the Patriots because he was running late in the Patriots and Bill Belichick don't like this. He crashed his car into the back of a church van. This is uh, one of those stories where I uh, I differ from people who like football and like hard nose and two a days in the, in the heat. And it's like, this is, this is bad. See, I think you're on the same page of those people. This guy's late. And he crashed into a van. Just be late. That's not like that's not like football guy. That's <laughs> no, I think there's some coaches and some people are like, that's what you gotta do. Like, this is a bad environment. When you're 
late and you feel like I got to crash into someone and then you choose to crash into a car that's got another person in it. Right. I'm just, I think I'm just not a rich. You're not a rich Arnberger Arnberger fan. Right. I think he yeah. told this story thinking it was endearing. And I'm like, dude, you come across awful in this story. Yes. You're, you're late. And then you crash into a church fan. Like that's with kind of the guy consensus. Just crash into a curb or fence. Anything but a human. Anything but a car with a human in it. And the best part is for me, Dante Scarnecchia, underrated part of the Patriots dynasty. They'll be the first to tell you. Great offensive line. Dante coach. Scarnecchia. Three, two, two one, one seven. seven. Yeah. Basically, they called him out and was like, "Hey, we we don't we don't do that." Do you want to read the quote or no? Yeah, I mean, yeah. the offensive line coach. How's it going, Speed Racer? Running a little late this morning? This reads like a, a bad novel. Like, like this is like the dialogue in um, Fifty Shades of Grey. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That stuff might fly at IBM if you're one of them geeks working on the computers and stuff. I'm an O-line coach. Yes. Knows who he is. You be on time from now on. Geeks working on those computers and stuff. You want to get into the ocean? Let's go to not sports here. It looks like, ooh, I didn't know which one you landed on, but it looks like something you're very close to. Very close to. Bunch of manatees fucking in the ocean. It's called a mating ball. It looks like they're not having sex, but I guess that's what they're doing. They called it like a friendly orgy. It doesn't look friendly at all. It looks like they're all fighting, but I guess they're fucking. And in Florida, people are like swimming up to these manatees, manatee balls where they're all doing this and being like, what's up, guys? I'm Joe's. We doing it? And they're, Florida's like, stop doing that. They're endangered species. If you get in the middle of them having sex, they're going to like hurt you and you're being a lot of trouble. The manatee is really tricky for people um, because they look so innocent, but they're massive animals that it's kind of like a, it's like a local friendly whale and people just lose their mind around them. Like people spray them with the hose. You're really not supposed to do that because that affects like their they're like breeding and where they go and stuff. People spray manatees with a hose? Well, the manatees like it because sometimes they go into the salt water, but they like the fresh water. Manatee expert. Why are you like, why you know so much about manatees? Joe's. Sounds like you be jumping in this. I've been necking with a Florida girl for a while now. Not a manatee. All Florida people are fake manatee experts. Everyone leave your best manatee fun fact in the comments. Okay. And Jake will choose the winner and give you his shoes. No. Don't reach out. Old shoes. Pair you don't use anymore. Well, Sam ship them to the winner. Okay. Oh, that's cool, man. Pair your shoes on the market. Ew. Ew. Right into the mic. I have dust come out of his mouth every time he throws. <laughs> it's the employee of the week. Employed. Are you good with who it says here? I like this guy. All right. We hadn't discussed it. Goes to Warehouse Rob. Rob M. Warehouse Bobby. Oh, the playoffs. Uh, the playoffs for floorball. Start soon. Baggage, undefeated. Just sitting in the semifinals, waiting for Forgotten Rotten, or we got ice. You know what I like about Rob? Trailed off. Big sports fan. Rob. Yeah. I thought you said Rotten at first. Did I, I said Forgotten Rotten. Right. Freudian listen by you. Ooh, boy. That was the Weekly Dumb! This episode of the Weekly Dumb was brought to you by DraftKings. MMA fans, loosen up. As the fighters face off during UFC 278, you can take down your own big win with DraftKings Sportsbook, the official sports betting partner of you. FC. New customers can bet $5 on any fighter to win and get $200 in free bets instantly, no matter what. New customers only bet $5 on UFC 278 and receive 200 in free bets instantly. How about that? Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. Use promo code JOHNBOY. Bet $5 on any UFC 278 fighter to win and get $200 in free bets instantly no matter what. That's code JOHNBOY this Saturday at DraftKings Sportsbook, the official sports betting partner of UFC. I caught a fly ball on a flip phone once. What do you mean? You were talking on a flip phone and you caught a fly ball? Yeah, I was or in you like, used the phone to catch it? I was in like a board, a board like Babe Ruth League. I wasn't proud of it. Oh, you were playing the field. Yeah. Pulled out your phone. Yeah. Were you actually talking? I was talking? on the phone in center field and a ball got hit to me and I caught it while I was on the phone. You're, you're a little punk. I was a little punk. That's a punk. That's move. my biggest punk move. Yeah. Dude, I shouldn't have been in that league. It's for another time, guys. Okay.